What's up everybody? We're here with Treasure Fingers. It's going down at Audio Disco Tech tonight in San Francisco. I'm Tech Minds with Daily Beat. Brand new club. You yeah. stoked to play it? Yeah, I'm excited, man. I've heard it's got a great sound system. It definitely has a good sound that system. That's my number one thing that I look for in clubs. So. That's, a, that's a good thing to look for. I read your bio. You're from Atlanta, right? That's where I live currently. Uh, do you think they're like Dirty South style influences like your music style at all? Well, when I first moved to Atlanta, I started doing some hip hop production, and with that, I found it very easy to write um, write beats if I started with an acapella. So okay. I would just pull a random acapella in and start writing chords around it and a beat and everything. Do you ever feel like, um, and this is a personal question because I've dealt with this, where you're working on a remix or a bootleg or whatever, and you feel like you want to ditch all the elements of that original track yeah, yeah, yeah. and then make your own yeah. mix track, you yeah, know, yeah. your own original track. Honestly, that. I've done, I've had a few where um, I was already working on the remix and it got too far, like out of scope from what I thought the remix should have been. And I just kind of took all the original sounds out of it from the remix, started a new song with it, and then went back to the remix and kind of rebuilt it from the ground up. What do you like making better, original music or remix music? Um, definitely original. I feel like there's a better there's a better payoff in the end making original, but at the same time I feel like doing remixes is just extremely easy. It's already been recorded. All the hard parts of like thinking up the chord progression and all that's kind of done. So I just kind of reimagine it and re reproduce it, so to say. Something that's just yeah. fresh and a little. Yeah, and I feel like that original. coming from that point of view is kind of like the true term of like you know a producer where. Um, a band or an artist or writers come to you with a song and they want it produced. Mm -hmm. So that's how I usually approach a remix. Like, okay, this is their their lyrics. They got the vocals recorded. Here's like the chords. Right now, I'm supposed to kind of re envision it and make make it make it me, I guess. Um, so that's usually how I do a remix. So it's fun and it helps keep your name out on blogs and it's good promotion and it's always good to have like a fresh track to play out. But I feel like there's a little bit more value to just putting an original song. Um, How'd yeah, you get connected with Full School? It was way like 2007, like MySpace days. And A Track actually just messaged me. I think it was from his like his account. And um, I remember seeing the message and thinking that it was probably like spam, but as a personal one, it's like, hey, I like your song. Um, Which song was that? Uh, Across the Dance Floor. Oh, okay. It's like, I really like your song. Um, I have a label called, Fool, called Fool's Gold. I don't know if you've heard of us, but I was just like, you're like, yeah, like Fool's Gold, Fool's yeah. Gold, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we had a lot of mutual friends already, so that, that connection kind of happened sort of naturally. But um, yeah, just they, they sent a contract, it looked good, and they got some killer remixes done. So would you say that was a big career boost, that one oh, message sure, off yeah. of MySpace? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even, honestly, I wasn't planning on pushing that stuff at all. Um, I just loved funk and house music and disco, and I would just, I would make that on the side, sort of like, sort of like a therapeutic thing. And I had this collection of just kind of like really funky, like house songs. And um, a, a, a friend of mine in Atlanta told me to, uh, to leak them, and we put them on blogs, and that's how each I heard it. So. What about your DJ sets? Do, do you say you stick with like more of the funky house style, or like the new disco style, or do you kind of go all over the place and bring in yeah, you know, yeah. heavier when elements? I'm, when I'm DJing, I go, I wouldn't say like the full spectrum, but I'll go everything from even really like acid and techno stuff to jack and house to, you know, just disco. Like just anything that's, I think, I don't know, I just kind of read the crowd and the venue and the, the club. And, see what I think would work. The one that I always play is uh, the T remix of Disclosure, F for You. The bass sounds so good on it. That's why, if I'm ever on a big sound system, like, or just something with good bass, I have to play that. So you're gonna have that tonight. Good, good. For sure. Yeah. Uh, is there any tracks out there that uh, just kind of bug you, hit you wrong? Um, probably, but I, I don't know. I'm one of those people, like, if I don't like it, I just, like, just pass push it, it out of my memory, yeah. I, I've never been on that thing where I just play the big anthems either. Um, I always try to play more, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm trying to, like, educate the crowd a little more and play, like, right. fresher upfront music. And Do you feel like that ever, like, kind of can, 
you know, kind of bite you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I've, I've been dealing with that lately where I was like, you know what, I'm, I need to play a few, like, really, not, like, big hits, but stuff that the crowd's familiar with, even if it's my own song. So, like, right. so a lot of the, like, Cross the Dance Floor is probably one of my biggest songs, and I don't, I don't play it ever. And last night, um, I think uh, someone came up and held a phone up, like, they were asking for that one. Yeah, and I was like, uh, whatever. I did it, and it went over really well. And I was like, okay. I need to be doing this. I need to be playing like songs people know. From right, me. because that's your brand. That's yeah, what yeah. people are coming out to yeah, see. Yeah, you like going to see your your favorite band play, and they don't play like the songs that they're known for. So, oh yeah, people. So I, I, I've kind of dealt with that where I'm like, I need to to fit these back in my set, along with playing like the really fresh stuff. And right. A few yeah, because you got to figure. I mean, even if you're sick of the track, or you know, you've spent all the time yeah, mixing yeah, yeah. it or producing it, yeah. your ear is probably a little tired of it. Yeah. But that doesn't mean everyone else is. Right. They're right. really excited to yeah. hear that. To me, I've heard that you know two million times. And right. And pr- <laughs> yeah. That cross the dance floor I did in like 2006 or 2007. Now, so to me, it's like extremely old. But, right. Um, I'm it's, sure it's, a lot of it still hits with that. Yeah, it still hits with certain people. So um, I, I'm gonna make it a point to like play some older stuff. 